So it does not take much, guys, to make an extra $150 in one month or in one week. I'm about to show you just five items that I sold in the month of February that produced $150 in profit. Guys, this is for anyone that is considering starting Amazon or is selling on Amazon that is a small seller. You do not have to have a large inventory. You do not have to make a lot of sales in order to produce yourself a nice side income or even enough income just to pay your rent or your mortgage or your car payment. Guys, everyone should be selling on Amazon and this video is exactly why five items that I sold in February, just five that produced $150 in profit. All right, folks, so I'm hoping this video will give a little inspiration to you guys, those guys that are the small sellers that are just starting out, guys. It does not take a lot to produce some nice amount of income. Amazon pays my bills, guys, and I'm so thankful for that. And I don't put a intense amount of work into this anymore, honestly. I do keep it very consistent so I know how much money that I'm going to make pretty much every single month. And like I said, it pays the bills, guys. So that is what it's all about. I think we all can use just a little bit of extra income to help us get through, right? Extra money is great money. It's going to allow you to uh, take care of those things that you need to take care of and save some money and go on awesome vacations, right? So definitely get out there and source and make these kinds of profits. Let's go ahead and let's look at this first one. These are the five uh, highest sales price items that I sold in February. So this is the very first one. It's War and Remembrance. This is a really uh, expensive DVD set. It's parts one through seven. It was three discs. Uh, the reason I did sell it so low at $75 is because it was a uh, library copy and uh, they didn't have the cover it didn't have the case I actually had to go and get cases for it and put it all together and package it all nice and neat so it was in acceptable condition I called it acceptable condition because it didn't have you know all the items and things that it actually come with and it was a used library copy so I went ahead and just sold it you know a little bit uh, way uh, you know, less expensive than what it was going for. I think if we went ahead and looked at this right now, you guys would be like, why did you sell that so very low? But it was because it was in acceptable condition. So you can buy it new for 249 used starting at 6398 And the first FB offer is probably 100 or maybe even $150. let us see down here. $102 is the first FBA offer. So I did sell it cheaper, not a, a lot cheaper, $25 cheaper. But you guys should know by now if you're watching my channel that I am not a greedy seller. I'm not after, you know, I'm not chasing the most profit. I'm more in just trying to flip this product over, get that profit, and then reinvest my money, my buy cost into more inventory. Because like I said, I like to keep my Amazon business as consistent as possible. I'm not looking to make a million dollars off of Amazon. I'm just looking to use it to pay my bill so I don't even have to worry about that kind of thing. So I sold it for 75 bucks. Buy cost on it was 25 cents. Amazon took 11.25 right off the bat. FBA fulfillment was 348 and the closing fee was $1.80. So total, uh, you know, deductions from this $75 sale price was $16.78, leaving me with a profit of $58.22. Some awesome healthy profit. This one sale alone pays my, you know, internet bill, right? So, you know, AT&T, there you go. There's your money. Return on investment, 23,000%. Crazy incredible, guys. Crazy incredible. So let's look at the next one here. This is Jagged. This is actually an audio CD that I sold. $40 is what I sold this CD for. A CD for 40 bucks. People are nuts. $250 buy cost, $6 in commission, $250 in fulfillment, and $1.80 closing. Total taken out was $12.80, leaving me a profit of $27.20, a thousand percent ROI. This is why I love selling used media above everything else, above everything else, above online arbitrage, retail arbitrage everything else media is a low buy cost and if you find those gems those out of prints those things that are people are willing to pay for with good high value you're going to be able to make some incredible profits and your profits are just going to be able to compound much faster uh, versus your buy cost the money that you're putting in and the money that you're getting out is going to be amazing 
So this one, another good sale, $27.20 in profit. The next one we're going to see here is Gavin Harris Rhythmic DVD from 2007. $39.99 is what I paid for this. Again, $250 buy cost. Amazon takes their six bucks. Fulfillment, uh, closing fee and shipping promotion. $20.76 is what's taken out of this total here, $47.17. And I am left with $26.41 in profit. Again, over a thousand percent return on investment. Next one up, the Heavenly Kid, a DVD from 2005. This one sold for 39. Again, you see similar numbers here, 250 buy cost. Amazon takes about six bucks. We got the fulfillment fee here and always that variable closing fee. $12.65 is taken out. 1000% return on investment as you've seen before. $26.35 profit on this one single dvd again guys these are just five sales five sales imagine if you took these kind of items you're finding these kinds of items and instead of just five sales in a month you are making 20 sales in a month 50 sales in a month so that is the power of amazon get out there and source these kinds of products muppet treasure island audio cd this one blew my mind just a little bit 35 dollars in uh, sales of volume here, 250 buy cost, 525, 250, 180. Total taken out of that $35 was $12.05, leaving me a profit of $22.95. These five items combined produced me a $150 profit. And again, guys, these five items, again, if you had, you know, 25 items, so if you had $150. If you sold 25 of these, you would be making $750 in profit. Now, this are the higher priced items, the higher profit items. They're not taking into account all the bread and butter stuff that I sell every single day, every single week. Bread and butter items that are making me, you know, $4 profit, $5 profit, $6 profit, $8 profit. Those are the usual sales that I'm used to. These are the larger ones that just really just make me tingle. All right. Cause the profits are amazing but if you combine this these amazing profits with bread and butter items and you're selling consistently you're building that inventory you keep sending in inventory you're going to be able to produce you know a really awesome income it does not take much on amazon to be able to produce a thousand dollars in profit a month thousand dollars in profit a month to go ahead and take care of that uh, mortgage payment or that rent payment think of what you can do with an extra thousand dollars every single month that is the power of amazon go out there find those media items that you can sell start with books obviously then when you're ready go ahead and take the steps to get ungated in dvd and cd there's a link for that in the description that you can check out if you're interested but guys don't put it off don't hesitate go out there and source the product sending them to amazon and start building you a side hustle a side income to help relieve some of the pains and the stresses of everyday life my name is josh everydayfba.com is my website go ahead and look in the description for a bunch of different links to help you get started if you are a brand new amazon seller and i'll catch you guys on that next video